Hello, banana growers. Welcome back. Uh, this is Frank of Simply Bananas. Uh, we hope you're having a good year so far. Uh, of course, this is uh, this is the time of year where we usually do our uh, 2020 banana forecast for the season. And uh, I'll give you a little hint. Look over my shoulder. It's going to be pretty good. But we'll get to that forecast in just a little bit. Um, I'm rocking the quarantine beard here. I don't like facial hair, but... This is a first for me. So in addition to giving you the forecast, we are going to show you how to trim up some of your bananas. Um, the ones over my shoulder, this is a first now. We've had uh, such a mild season that they have actually continued to ripen. Um, it's a first. This is this late March. The whole season has gone through. We've gone through the worst of the winter by far. But these bananas, they lost all their leaves, but they continued to ripen, and that's extremely rare. So we will have fresh bananas starting this week. They are ready to go. Take a look. You know, it's uh, it, it's been a strange year, but we've also had an amazing year. We've had very little winter here down in South Carolina. We've had a lot of rain. I mean, we had as much rain as we've had during some of the tropical storms um, a couple weeks ago, and that's really helped bring these uh, plants along. The warm rains and the warm weather have caused these plants to leaf out a good bit. It's going to be super exciting because these plants are almost to a mature stage, at least a lot of them are. And so we're going to have a chance to have a really good banana season. But before we clean up the bananas, I wanted to show you a couple of uh, a couple of things that you might as well be aware of. All right, this banana, uh, if you can see it, let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, right there is an old bloom, um, and the bananas didn't do very well, as you can see. Maybe. But the flower's still working, but these, it's not going to make any more bananas. It's, uh, it's done. So this plant has to come down. It's, uh, what is it, probably 10 feet tall? Yeah, I would say it's easily 10 feet tall to where the, the bloom uh, extends from. But yeah, it's gonna have to come down. But look right here beside it. This is a, another plant that's gonna be taking its place. That's what happens as the old bananas die fall down, get cut down, whatever. The young banana will grow into its place. Okay, so these are the uh, Rajapuri bananas um, right in here. And we're actually gonna clean them up. And I'm gonna show you a couple things uh, about that. Right here, we've got, uh, of course, the, these are expended fruits. We've got another one right here from last year that they never, they never developed. So we're gonna to have to cut these down, but we're also gonna clear up some of these leaves uh, on these plants. And the two tools we'll be using today are the scissors and a parang, which is a type of machete, which is perfect for cutting down bananas. So now what? Well, uh, if you were really a clever person, you could uh, take these old banana leaves and figure out how to make toilet paper out of them. But I'm not that smart. So I'm just gonna put them back into the plant and let them become food for this summer's growing season. But before I uh, finish up here, I wanted to show you something here. This little leaf has, uh, if you can see it closely, it's jutted out, um, but it hasn't quite opened up yet because it's kind of bound by this old uh, these old leaves so sometimes you just want to give it a little clip like that and as this comes out it starts to unwrap all right so a lot of people just make the mistake of cutting the, all the plants down and really you don't need to do that uh, as you can see those rajapuris are going to be just fine now on to the 2020 forecast once again we are going to project that we are going to grow more bananas in the low country of South Carolina and the entire Southeast than ever before in the history of the earth. There are more banana plants out there and we had a super mild winter. So expect super good production this year. 
stay safe, continue to social distance, work with your bananas, and we'll see you on the next video.